Hi guys, Polish Vapes UK back again and today we're going to be having a look at the Able mod. This is the clone. Really been enjoying using this mech mod. Um, I did meet up uh, with a friend of mine, Vaping Anthrax, um, which has the authentic Able. Um, we did a little scope call and he checked it out and had a look at it. And it is pretty one to one clone. Um, did get this from freefvape.com. Um, so if you want, go check it out and have a look. But other than that, let's dive down close and we'll have a little bit of a closer look at it. And then we'll uh, jump back up and we'll have a toot on it and a chat. So guys, here we are with the Able mod. This is the brass, a little bit dirty. I do keep polishing it, but it doesn't take very long to get dirty again. Um, so I haven't cleaned it before the review. Carbon fiber sleeve. We'll take a little look at how that works. I don't know if it's gonna focus. There's the top, obviously it is hybrid. So please make sure that you have a protruding pin on any ATI you're going to use on this AV logo there on the bottom. So if you unscrew the top, which is works, this uh, the way this works is actually for your battery rattle. So there is your top piece. Like I said it is hybrid and then there's your firing switch which we'll have a look at in a minute sleeve um, the only one thing I would say about the clone sleeves is they don't sit completely flush with that bit there there's a tiny bit of a lip I'm not sure why but they've made the clone sleeves are a little bit thicker than the authentic sleeves so I am hoping to uh, pick up an authentic sleeve for mine um, as you can see there it's an o-ring I actually changed that o-ring uh, it had a black o-ring on there when I got it but from putting this on and tightening down this every so often which keeps the sleeve tight it actually pinched the rubber o-ring that was on there and it snapped it um, so that is all that is is a sub tank mini o-ring which you use for sitting your glass on on the sub tank which I put on there and works superb obviously there is your sleeve so there is your copper pin and all you do to fire and this has got some magnets if you want I'll take it apart it can be a bit fiddly you have to be careful because it will jump out on you and there you just see the magnet fling across <laughs> So there is your little copper pin that sits down in that groove. Your tiny magnet sits there on your pin. And then you've also got a ginormous magnet. Two magnets in the bottom, so it is pretty strong. Oh, there goes that magnet again. 
So find the restricting part. Place that in the slot like so. And then all you need to do is grab your and really push them together because it will, like I say, these magnets are really strong. So it will try and push it away. So you really do have to put some pressure on it there. And like I say, these magnets are really strong. As you can see, they are really strong. So yeah, that is the firing switch. Then obviously, put it all back together. Like so. Screw that down nice and tight. See, like I say, you just get a little lip on the top and bottom. And then with this one, obviously hybrid, put your atty on first. And obviously make sure it has got a protruding 510 pin. Like so. Pop your battery in. And as you see there guys, I did put it in positive down which on all other mechanical mods and any mods, it's usually positive up. You can use it positive up, but this mod you can actually use positive down and you actually get a bit of a better connection. And obviously that copper pin that you see in the firing switch, you wanna keep clean and all your threads and stuff you also wanna keep clean. So there it is guys, other than that, Let's jump back up top, have a quick vape, and have a chat. So guys, back up top with the Able mod. Like I say, if you're not sure about that battery thing, please just put it positive up. Um, but I've spoke to people that have used Ables for a long time, um, and were told by AV that you could run it with uh, positive down. Um, if you're not sure, have a look on uh, AV's website. Um, and I'm sure it tells you on there. Or if you get enabled with some sort of manual, I'm sure it also tell you in there how to run your batteries safely. Um, I'm using the LG, is it the HB2 or HB6s? Uh, 1500 mAh, uh, 30 amp continuous. So it's safe to run lower builds. I'm running a 0.1 ohm build in this at the moment. Which I believe is twisted. Is it twist? No, it's not twisted. It's it's a dual parallel 22 gauge, and I think it ohmed out exactly at like one uh, point one one or point one two. Got to that closest that point one as I as it, as it could. Obviously, if you're not going to be running a build that low, say a 0.25 or 0.3, then obviously you can run different batteries. Um, but just because of how low I'm running the ohms, I wanted to use a battery that I knew was safe to handle that ohm load. So yeah, guys, absolutely loving the Able. Like I say, if you're not sure about battery safety in Ohm's Law, you know, maybe do a bit of research, watch some YouTube videos, there's plenty out there. Um, before you buy anything unregulated, do some research and uh, make sure you know everything about the safety of running mechanical mods or re regulated mods. Make sure you know your safety about how to build. So guys, uh, not sure if the Bullet RDA Review is up yet, or it may be coming, but I am going to be doing the Bullet RDA, um, which I bought to go with this mod. So it may be up, or it may be coming. Um, 
check that out, guys. Let's have another toot, shall we? So, guys, please, please like, share, and subscribe. And remember, guys, stay safe and keep on vaping.